Hi there, I am Tokumbo Adebowale. In this video, I will show you how to identify fair value gap in ICT concept forex trading. But before that, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I want you to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my subsequent videos. Without much ado, let's get right into it. Fair value gap is one of the institutional reference points for ICT concept in Forex trading. Now, how do you identify fair value gap on your trading chart? This is what I am going to share you. And I will explain to you the ICT concept fair value gap in Forex trading. The fair value gap occurs wherever you have three candles, wherever you have three candles, and the top candle and bottom candle did not close. In other words, you have space in between the bottom candle and the top candle. And on this chart, you can see this first candle closes here. Then we have the second candle, okay? Then we have the third candle. So the third candle closes at this point. We can see that there is an opening in between the candle at the bottom and the candle at the top. So this is what we call fair value gap in ICT concept. And wherever you have this fair value gap, it is so that the price is in balance at this point. So you can see that the price closes here, which means that the candle closes at this point. I'm talking about this bottom candle, okay? Then there's the next candle here, then the third candle closes there. It means that the price also closes at this point. So the price left a gap here. The price left a gap here, which is uh, imbalance. It has created an imbalance price at this moment. So that is what we call fair value gap. So this means that, um, this means that the price is going to come back to this point. It's going to come back to this point, okay? To come and balance up this, to come and balance up this part. So this is what has happened. You no, know, the price comes. So now at this point, once the price comes to this point, which is um, the fair value gap here, then we expect the price to go higher, to go up, okay? So that's what we have. That's what we see here now. So you can see that after the price touches this fair value gap here and balance the price at this point, the price started going up, you know, the price started going bullish. So uh, as a matter of fact, what we have here is um, bullish fair value gap, okay? So is the price has to go up, the price has to go up, the price has to go bullish to a certain point, okay? So now, um, let's take a look at um, another. Let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at this example of bearish fair value gap. This first candle closes here. Then we have the next candle and um, the third candle, which closes at this point. Okay, in between the first candle and the third candle. We can see there's a space, okay? Let me mark this out for you so that you will be able to understand what I am talking about, okay? So you can see this space here and this space where this candle closed, okay? And where this closed, we can see there's space. So let me just mark this out. This is what we call the fair value gap because the price didn't close and it has created imbalance at that point. So now, if you want to take this trade now, um, you are gonna wait for the you, you are gonna wait for the price to come back into this fair value gap, okay? If um, you are gonna wait for the price to come back into this fair value gap, so once the price gets into this fair value gap, we expect the price to start going bearish, okay? So that's what we have. That's what we see here. You can see. Uh, the price went down, went down, then came back into this 
favor value gap. And once the price touches this favor value gap, you can expect to, to um, you can look out for um, taking a trade, okay? So, uh, of course, you know, when you're taking a trade at this point, you're taking a sell, okay? In some cases, the price might still go beyond this favor value gap, but for the fact that you have gotten into this favor value gap, it has to go down and go bearish, okay? This video is just to show you how to identify the value gap. If you have benefited from this video, I want you to hit the like button and even share this video. And I want you to subscribe to this channel if you have not done that before. Turn on your notification bell so that you get to know when I drop a new video. If there's any aspect you want me to teach on ICT concept, go to the description of this video. You can send me a WhatsApp chat directly and I will respond. Thank you and talk to you soon.